All right, shout out to my fellow Kentuckian Jack Harlow. He has just dropped a brand new music video, Churchill Downs, featuring Drake. This is a song from his album that he just dropped. I haven't listened to it because I want to do a review on it, but I don't know how the copyrights are going to work on it. I got shafted with the Kendrick Lamar album, and I assume it's going to be the same for this. So we'll see what happens with it. But uh, I am from Kentucky. Churchill Downs is where they do the Kentucky Derby. It's very historical. Everybody knows about it from around here. And uh, it looks like he filmed it at the Kentucky Derby, which just happened a few weeks ago so that's kind of dope i'm excited about this shout out to the sponsor manscaped if you got stinky balls it gets rid of them not your balls the, the smell all right here we go this is churchill downs mm. this is a great picture hold on this is a great picture of the the crowd you would see at a kentucky derby because it's not cheap to get into that some bitch all right let me just tell you everybody dresses up super fancy but then you still got some true bloodborne kentuckians like old buddy right here my man's in the leonard skitter cut off backwards busted ass hat with the uh what are those those are like ah, i forget the name of those but just the sunglasses is what i'm looking at and then you got everybody else dressed up but that's a true kentuckian right here this guy understands the assignment i love it Sometimes when I sit back and really let it register, I did everything I said I would have said cool it first. Shot. I mean the world's in denial, but they all know what I'm headed for. Wow. I love that line right there. I, I did everything that I said I'd do, and I said it first. Like, I was the first one that came up with the goals. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, and I accomplished all of that. That's cool. I love this shot right here where the horses are running in slow motion beside him, but he is in, you know, full motion right here. There's obviously some kind of mask on the screen, but still cool. And yeah, it looks like he definitely shot this at the Kentucky Derby, unless he just got, a, you know, thousands and thousands of people to fill out the Derby, which I doubt it. Uh, this is... This is cool. This is like a one-time thing. If he messes up some shots, you're not going to have another chance to get a good-looking shot for the music video. I mean, the world's in denial, but they all know what I'm headed for. Shout out to Louisville Slugger. We about to feed these youngins to the Louisville. metaverse. Meanwhile, I'm over here just trying to pen a verse because I'm done being extra with the extroverts. The label used to wonder how okay. I'm supposed to stand next to Vert. Probably never thought that I would get these legs to work. I work hard, but mm. hard shit don't need no extra work. That's why I show up in a sweatshirt and let it burn. The world's mine. I, just I like that. Hard shit don't need no extra work. Talking about like hard music, like good hard music. You know, it's just natural sometimes. You ain't got to work really hard at it if you're just as good as Jack is saying that he is in this song and you know the label used to wonder how i was staying next to vert obviously referencing lil uzi vert i know they had some kind of drama back in the day i'm not too well versed on the history between that um but then you know they would they would wonder how i would get these legs to work because they wanted to stand next to vert legs you get that uh and I, I love that he's in the louisville slugger factory and churchill downs is in louisville too all kentucky jack carlos from louisville so i, I love the uh, appreciation he's showing to the heritage and like the actual culture surrounding louisville and let it burn. the world's mine i just say fuck it let it turn the girl's mine mm. i just say fuck it have a turn the goats call me to the side like can we have a word i could have fronted but i did this shit how i prefer mm. Okay. I know I should be humble, but it's something I just haven't learned. Soon enough, I'll be shot to reverse. Bad yeah, burn. like that. Soon enough, we about to come and get the shit we earn. You're not a fan now. Okay, bad habits gotta let them burn. Then we're gonna come and get the shit we earn. Obviously, you know, you burn ashes into an urn. We're coming to get the shit we earned because he burned the bad habits. But I remember when you used to be fanned out. I guess when the whole world loves you, people only got one way to stand out. All that time in the kitchen mm. finally panned out. I put some flavor in the pot and took the bland out. I know my girl. All the time in the kitchen panned out. Pans are in the kitchen. It panned out like the kitchen, the booth. Uh, yeah. All right. I put some flavor in the pot and took the bland out. I know my grandpa would have a heart attack if I pulled a hundred grand out. So I'm not gonna pull a hundred grand out. I'm hip hop. Do you fully understand? I'm fully automatic with the jams and it don't jam at the shows i'm about to start handing out well, like programs because y'all need to get with the program i'm a grown ass man all right i love that he, he just explained the bar that he said i'm handing out programs because you need to get with the program uh that's a little much right there i'm fully automatic with the jams and they're not gonna jam uh, so he's talking about the guns not gonna jam he's fully automatic with the jams as in like hit songs that he's just non-stop popping them out left and right and the guns never gonna jam so that's that's a cool little bar they had right there the whole hundred grand my grandfather would have a, a heart attack if I pulled a hundred grand out so I'm not gonna pull a hundred grand out 
I, I mean, that one might need some thinking, but that seems kind of weird. Man, call me pops, fuck around and take your phone ass, man. Everybody know Jack, but they don't know Jack, man. They just know I got the flows and the hoes mm. and the packed out shows. That's a good one. Ain't too many cons when you playing with the pros. Except for how your life get exposed. Right. But I make that sacrifice for the life that I chose. I know in Toronto they got soft for the roads, but school's closed to Kentucky, so I like when it snowed. The kids carry chopsticks, not for rice in a bowl. School counselors all know how okay. they like Kids carry chopsticks, but not for rice in a bowl. Uh, I know Louisville has a huge band scene, and chopsticks are like the drumline stuff, but he could be referencing. Uh, it's probably a fucking name for a gun now. I don't. There's so many different names for guns, and Louisville has uh, some of the most gun crimes in Kentucky. So I don't. I don't fucking know what he's trying to reference right here. Okay, this is where I start looking into stuff a little bit too much. Um, and I know he said like in Toronto they get salt for the roads. But the schools are closed in Kentucky, so he likes when it snows. Uh, anytime it snows in Kentucky at all, everybody just fucking freaks out. You know, I, I've gone to Colorado and stuff and told people about this. If we get like four to five inches on the roads, schools are definitely closed, especially if you live out in a county and you're not in a city area. Uh, your schools are definitely closed. And I know places like Colorado, they have three feet of snow and they just like get the shit off the road. Uh, there's a salt shortage in Kentucky sometimes. So... I I, re I resonate with a lot of stuff that's being said right here. Uh, ain't too many cons when you mess with the pros. The pro con flip right there was cool. And then my favorite line that I heard right there throughout the entire song, probably my favorite line is everybody says they know Jack, but they don't know Jack, man. And obviously it, that's a common euphemism. Like you don't know Jack, but you know, you don't know Jack Harlow. That's cool. Life is at home. Cold like the Minnesota Vikings at home. Before I met Drizzy, I knew he and I would get along. But it's hard to crack jokes when you really want advice. I mean, what's it like to touch gold every time you touch a mic, touching heights? No one gets to touch in life. Fucking right, mm. young bachelor. What's a wife? Once in a lifetime, till I say I want it twice. One of a kind, know your mm. everything is one of mine. Wanted posters with my face, they know who I'm wanted by. Okay. The yeah. once in a lifetime thing, until I say that I want it twice. That's a cool way of saying that I could do whatever the fuck I want to do. Not a bad little verse. Sometimes the lack of days of cool stuff gets Cold to me. Cold hearts and heated floors, no parental guidance. I just see the voice. Therapy sessions, I'm in the waiting room reading Forbes. Abandonment issues, I'm getting treated for. How much water can right. I fit under the bridge before it overflows? My son's gotta learn that forgiveness mm, is like a lonely that. road. The cribs on his wheel like motorhomes. Niggas love to try and test us, <laughs> they didn't know what we own. Chubbs got. I like that the crib's on his wheel like a motorhome. A uh, motorhome is literally a home on wheels, but the crib is on his wheel, as in like when Drake dies and he has a wheel, he's leaving the house to his son. That's that's what that means right there. The whole, I don't know, man. Like this is the thing about Jack Harlow with me is sometimes it gets a little too, like kind of like it all sounds very lackadaisical, and I feel like there sometimes it's uninspired, and like Drake is definitely matching this energy, and Drake is like that sometimes too. So it can kind of drag a song on a lot of the times for me. And this one kind of feels like it's dragging on. But I do like a lot of the punchlines that they're saying, which is kind of confusing for me because I'm, I'm hearing a lot of these little one-line punchlines and this doesn't feel like a song that should have that many. So I, I kind of like it in that aspect. I don't know how I'm feeling so far. Let me not make my final judgments in the middle of a song. Niggas love to try and test us like they know what we own. Chubb's got the magazine cover like Rolling Stone because we already know how they brought they throwing stones. All right, that's some good imagery right there. The magazine covered like Rolling Stones because Rolling Stones, like, it's a popular magazine that you want to be on. The magazine of the gun is covered by a Whenever shirt. Whenever you getting bigger, there's growing pains. I got enough pull to make the city start throwing games. I'm out here making a mockery. Mm. I got my realtor out here playing Monopoly. How can I address you when you don't own property? They only finesse you when you don't move properly. Destined for okay. the win, but you don't get a prize out of me. I'm destined for the top, but you can't get a rise out of me. 750 for the round connection. Yo, there's just mad amount of punchlines thrown in right here. I'm destined for the top, or I'm destined to, yeah, I'm destined for the top, but you can't get a rise out of me. Obviously, there's a double right there. The Monopoly, you don't own property flip that he had right there. Uh, there was another one, too. Out here playing Monopoly. Oh, yeah, he's got so much pull that the city could throw a game, and he's, like, saying, like, Drake is so fucking big that he can convince, say, the Raptors, like, yo, I got money on this game, Raptors. Y'all need to throw this game so I can win some money. Like, he's that big of a person. Can I address you when you don't own property? They only finesse you when you don't. And that, how can I address you when you don't own property? Address, like, the address of a property, but how can I address you if you don't even have a place to stay? Like, you get that? Like, house address? How can I address? As in, like, speak to you? And that went over my head the first time. There's just mad amount of punchlines in this for no reason. Don't 
don't move properly. Destined for the win, but you don't get a prize out of me. I'm destined for the top, but you can't get a rise out of me. 750 for the round canaries and they glittering. Man, you niggas drop trash, you littering. Oh, that was sweet. I'm over delivering to the... You drop trash, you littering. Now you drop trash songs, but you're littering. You literally physically drop trash. That's cool. I think this is Jack Hall's mom. So this this makes this makes me proud of Jack because his mom is literally dancing with Drake at the Kentucky Derby. And I'm sure five years before this, when Jack was really struggling as his come up, like this was not even feasible. So I'm sure this is a crazy come up moment for all of them. Point is belittling. I mean, the PTSD is triggering, the profit is sickening, the stones are shimmering. Came from the north, but I got hot as fuck, so ain't no shivering. Yeah. Okay. Lucky me. Easy people that don't there. fuck with me are linking up with people that don't fuck with me to fuck with me. This shit is getting ugly in every situation. Oh, that was cool. People that don't fuck with me are linking up with other people that don't fuck with me to fuck with me. Just basically saying to mess with my shit. That was a cool little way to say that right there. And everything they saying is irrational and every way they moving is promotional. Everybody's acting irreplaceable. It's like they ain't disposable. My urges for revenge are uncontrollable. I know we're getting older though. Yeah. But I gotta get a nigga back for that. It's non-negotiable. It's not even debatable. I'm getting so rich, my music's not even relatable. I blow a head up, it's an inflatable. Baby blue G class, mm. I feel like a kid again. Praying on my downfall, don't make you religious, man. All I hear is plug talk coming from middle uh -huh. man. All I hear is tall tales coming from little man. When I say bitch, I'm very rich. I like that tall tales coming from little man's basically a tall tale is a lie. Um there was another one right before that that I was downfall, gonna talk about. Make you yeah, praying on my downfall doesn't make you religious, man. You know, praying on my downfall. Uh, like I said, just more punchlines is sprinkled in through this whole man. thing. All I hear is plug talk coming from middle man. All I hear is tall tales coming from little man. When I say bitch, I'm very rarely referring to women. Most of the bitches I know are niggas. They not even women. I know Ooh. that sounds like I'm being funny. I'm not even kidding. Same ones that say they run a the game when they not even in it. To be honest, y'all financial situation is my biggest motivation And how you should take that statement is based on what you're making Whips and chains like a dominatrix If I see I spit okay. in your faces Daytonas with the green faces That was nice, whips and chains like a dominatrix Like he's got so many different whips as in cars, chains as in jewelry But whips and chains a dominatrix is somebody that likes some really freaky sexual stuff That really wants to dominate their partner with whips and chains And you guys... Uh, nice again another double entendre thrown in right there i think this is the most punchline rap heavy i've ever heard drake in my life like obviously I've, I've heard him several times in other songs but i think he's just like it's almost like he had a notepad they like he just sits there at night thinks of a punchline writes it in his notes on his phone and just kind of lets it sit there and then this is an accumulation of like several months of just all these one-liners and then he throws them into this song because there are literally so fucking many of these one-liners in this song so what you making whips and chains like a dominatrix if i see i spit in your faces Daytona's with the green faces Kentucky Derby races My presence in the spot is so abrasive Box at the Churchill Downs That's motivation Yeah That's expensive as fuck and Shorty like you know that boy Jack is going places I know Yeah <laughs> I love it Mom said what the fuck A lot of these shots are in reverse I wonder why Because the sample's in reverse maybe There's, the, there's an ad right there. Yo, shout out to Jack Harlow. Actually, uh, the more that song got on, the more I appreciated it for what it was. Uh, I definitely want to dive into that album to see how it is as a whole. If some of the songs, you know, maybe he has a little bit more energy. Maybe he sings a little bit more. Um, you know, he has a song called Route 66 that I fucking love because he gets a little melodic in that and it just sounds a little bit different. You know, he still has the lackadaisical Jack Harlow in there, but he also sings a little bit in there and just gives me some variation. And I, I feel like that's kind of what maybe I lack when listening to Jack Harlow specifically is just that kind of variation. But maybe I haven't heard enough of Jack, so that, that could be on me. Could be completely on me. But uh, as far as this song... I fuck with it. Uh, I, I appreciate the shout outs to the multiple different aspects of Kentucky, like Churchill Downs doing the music video inside of Louisville Slugger where they make baseball bats uh, and, you know, talking about the snow in Kentucky. And it was just really cool. I, I like the song. And shout out to Drake for just going super fucking punchline heavy. But let me know what you guys felt about this song, how you're feeling. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this one, guys. Again, 
if your balls stink or if you want to shave your balls if you got a female friend coming over and you need a quick trim you need a quick feel good to smell good so she's down there and it smells fun use code crypt 20 for 20 percent off anything on manscape and free shipping it's amazing but that's it i love you guys see you guys in the next video yo if you're still here you're awesome and i love you and I want to let you know that I have a sports channel that I'm uploading to a ton this entire summer. And if you're interested in watching me play any kind of wiffle ball, disc golf, golf, fishing, maybe even some boxing, check that out in the description below. That would be awesome.